Urgle Crafter. I'm just having kind of a messy desk play day where nothing seems to be turning out, but I think that's all right sometimes to have nothing turn out and just have fun. So I've got this new Sheena Douglas stencil and I'm just going to you know, start spraying some ink. I, you know, had this grand idea of something I was going to do and it just wasn't working. So I figured, you know what? Just not meant to be. I do want to, I've also grabbed some stamps that I want to play with. I'm just not even going to put those caps back on right now. Um, and they are by Lost Coast Designs. Oh, I kind of like that. I hadn't used, I've had these stencils um, in my stash for a while and I've been wanting to use them. I'm just going to just kind of press down some of that just to give it a little bit of a color elsewhere there. And maybe just a little bit of blue in the sky. I have to be careful. My laptop is like right there. I was listening to uh, John Finnamore's souvenir program. I ate like way behind. And so I was listening to a bunch of the episodes. And you know, maybe I'll do the old kitchen towel trick here. Take a little bit of that off that way. Not sure if I like this method or not, but it certainly does dry things up quickly. And uh, one of the, I wanted to play with some of my new Lost Coast Design stamps and they are having a sale through Wednesday. Use that coupon code. I'll have all the details in the video description if you do want to check it out. But they have like one sale a year, so I wanted to share that with you. You get 20% off if you buy six or more stamps, free shipping in the US and Canada, and half price shipping everywhere else um, if you would like to get some of their stamps. And if not, then... And there, that's fine too. Um, okay, so now I want to use, I have a cityscape stamp that I think would be kind of cool to layer across. And um, I actually, I put this on cling foam, but I haven't even taken the back off because I find it's such a large stamp that I'm better off kind of inking it up and then like pressing it down. And I wanted to use my homemade Wink of Luna pens that I made the other day. Do you remember that tutorial? Um, I was trying to get the Week of Stella pens and then... Um, I've never used them, so some viewers were like, you know, they're more like a glitter, they're less like a shimmer. So, and they said these were more like the Winkaluna pens. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try it with the um, with the glitter, and I did, and that came out really well too. But I honestly, I really like these, and I just made them out of some old kids' um, paintastic paintbrushes, which turns out are very difficult to find now. So I apologize to everyone that's been looking for those since that tutorial. I'm just, you know, using the same colors over and over again. I haven't used this one in a while. I gotta shake it up. Oh, something I did find that helped. I didn't do it to these, but to the uh, my glitter pens. I put a couple beads. This was also a couple viewers shared this with me. Um, I put a couple beads in the, um, just little e-beads um, in the barrels of the pens, and that really kept the glitter from um, from being all clumpy and stuff. So I'm just gonna, ooh, that's kind of pretty. You can really see the shimmer there. Hopefully there's enough, it's wet enough to stamp. If not, I'll just spray it the next time. And also, cause I'm working in my art journal, it's not a very flat surface. I have yarn, I have hot glue, I have collage stuff and string and all sorts of weirdness. Weirdness? Weirdness, yes, that's, <laughs> that's for Maine. Um, in there and, oh, that did stamp pretty good. And so I um, wanted to make sure that it was really gonna make a contact with everything and something else I wanna try with that too, but let me finish doing this. I thought I was gonna use the chest stamps that I have because they're some of my favorites, but it was just one of those things where I was working and nothing was happening. I think I've been puttering for about an hour. It's like I just, I it's Monday, I think. Mondays, I have a really hard time getting going. And ironically, I was going to do a video today on uh, working from home and how to stay motivated and uh, on task. And I'm like, what? who do I think I am? I can't stay motivated on task. I'm like, it's Monday. I can't get on my own way. I could spend all day on Pinterest or watching YouTube videos, for goodness sake. Do you guys have Mondays like that? I Or is it just me? I don't know. I just, for some reason, have just a hard time getting into the swing on a Monday. All right, I'm gonna put this on here. Should I, I think I'll maybe, do I wanna stagger it a little bit? I'm just lined it up, didn't I? Let's see, maybe, maybe we'll do another little stamping up forward, see how that looks. I honestly have no idea how this is gonna turn out. We're just uh, having a little adventure together. I got ink all over my hands because I thought I was gonna do some amazing calligraphy tutorial and that did not happen to work out so well. You know what I might do though? I have this stamp right here. I don't even think I've ever used it. I think it's a checkerboard, but I think it might be kind of cool to uh, 
maybe make like a um let me first see if i can get rid of some of them i'm not happy with that um i think i might see if i can do some maybe cobblestones with it or something there let's let's just let that do its thing for a bit so um yeah sometimes i just have a have a day like that nothing's really happening and i think i'm going to kind of trace some of the buildings here and if i'm starting one of these pens i like to do it on something else in case i in case i, I get a big blob or something there we go i don't know if this will be juicy enough to um to uh to flow but i wanted to kind of get more of a skyline -y look so i'm just kind of enhancing some of this here and there. I might switch just my regular Paintastics that just have paint in them though. Because I think this will have plenty of shimmer on its own. Why don't I do that? Those are a little bit easier to squeeze too because they're taller. I'm just going to wait and cap everything off at the end. So this is my regular, these are the regular ones. They're a little bit longer. Maybe I'll go with that. I don't know what that is. That's a weird. That's weird. I don't know what the, the, the came, must have came with a kid's kit or something. Well, why don't I try it off? It feels like it's, it doesn't sound like there's anything in there. I don't know, and it doesn't seem like it wants to squeeze. Oh no, there's stuff in there. I think maybe this is kind of what they went to because when I was looking, because that doesn't look like I can re, well maybe I can refill it. I don't know, it doesn't look like I can refill it and that's what, kind of what I was seeing. I think um, another company bought the Paintastics and they're probably making them so they're not refillable because probably they weren't selling very many because they are refillable. I'm liking this now. I think maybe I'll add some of this into the the bottom part too. Uh, it's very atmospheric. We're getting some snow. It's kind of dreary. I kind of want to get some of that atmosphere in here. Maybe not quite so dreary, but I don't want to get rid of all of the uh, all of the detail in these buildings. It seems like I don't. Uh, you know what? I think maybe there's like a um, like a sponge in there, like a marker or something, because I don't hear any juicy paint dribbling around. I don't know if I like that. I think I like, I think I prefer juicy paint dribbling around, quite frankly. All right. So you know what I think I might do instead of using, um, what did I do with that stamp that I just had? I think I might use my watercolor crayons on that checkerboardy stamp that I've misplaced. Oh, here it is. Um, because I don't want it to be super super uniform. This is what I was going to use. I was going to use this arch and some chess piece stamps, but it just wasn't, it wasn't happening. Don't you hate it when, the, when it just doesn't go for you? And a glue stick. Uh, if I could find a glue stick. Oh my goodness. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to get to my act together. Hold on a moment. All right. I found my glue stick was right where I was looking for it, but it was buried underneath a couple other bottles of glue in the same little glue pot that I have everything in. I'm just going to take, hopefully this isn't dried out. I'm just going to take um, a little glue stick on the back of this stamp because it's not mounted yet. And I was a little bit um, impatient. I don't, I'm not very good. I don't mount my stamps as soon as I get them. Sometimes they just get the glue stick treatment, I have to admit, but I have, I have so many. Um, so Yes, I'm a lucky girl. Uh, I'm actually going to be teaching a class for Lost Coast Designs at the Heirloom um, Rubber Stamp Show in West Springfield, Massachusetts, June 2015. So um, I'll let you know when we get a little closer and we have details. It's going to be a watercolor for stampers class. And yes, you can experience this live. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You can watch me hunt for glue stick in real life. I'll no, I won't. I'll bring like 50, so I won't be hunting for them. All right, so I'm using a watercolor crayon. I'm just dipping it in some water. These are the less expensive Lyra crayons. I love my Caran d'Ache, but I was on the hunt for something a little cheaper because um, when I got my Caran d'Ache, they it was oh, probably about 20 years ago, and they weren't crazy expensive. And now they're just they're really really expensive and. I don't know. I feel, I kind of feel bad recommending a really, really expensive supply like that because, you know, that's, it's an investment. All right. So I am using my rockable mount here because I want to make sure it's going to make contact with the paper and I'm stamping on damp paper here. So results will vary there. Oh, I like that. So obviously this isn't the technique if you are going for a very precise application of paint but i'm not i am having fun i am just you know one of those can't get out of my own way days and i'm just decided you know what i'm just gonna slap some paint on some paper i'm gonna stamp i'm gonna have fun i'm not gonna mount anything i'm just gonna have myself a time 
there we go. Now I think what I might do is, and I have not planned anything, so if you were hoping for some really well thought out, well executed tutorial, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just throwing in a little bit of a uh, shadowy in here. And you know, I might just kind of, I kind of like it actually. Maybe a little pink in there. It's playing with my watercolor grands. All right, so it's kind of like a Parisian cityscape or something. The Eiffel Tower is there. I guess it's got to be Parisian. Where else is it going to be? I don't know. Okay, now let me just grab a brush and spread out some of that. I'm working in a Canson XL Mixed Media Journal, which is what I do my art journal pages in, but it's actually almost full because I've been doing a lot of them or messing up a lot of them, however you want to look at it, because I'm almost out of paper. Um, I have a nice room up here for a quote. I don't exactly know what I want to put in there yet. Um, but something I was playing with when I my planned out tutorial, which didn't come to fruition, was I was using some of these um, these nibs, these nib pens. So you've got the holder part of the pen, and then you have the nibs, and then the nibs can be purchased individually. And I've had most of these for I don't know since I was in high school, which was more, over 20 years ago. Um, and then you just put on the end that you want. And like some ends are kind of cool. I'm going to show you one of the ones that has like a ball end for like doing copper, copper plate writing. It's got that really pretty round end. And so like the ends of your letters have like a little dot on the end. Um, so maybe let me see if I can think of a quote to put on here and then it, it demonstrate. I'm not a good calligraphy artist, but at least I can, you know, show you, just give you an idea of it anyway. So hang on a sec. I found a quote. It's an Audrey Hepburn quote and it is Paris is always a good idea. I'm going to see what sort of condition this purple. Ah, ink is in. It's on the floor. It's hit my chair. It's everywhere. The ink, the ink is everywhere. It's hit my chair. I feel like Dr. Seuss. Uh, that is not in good shape. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to get my Bombay inks. Hang on one momento. There we go. I'm so together today. I'm so together. Let's try this pink ink. I'm telling you, I'm not looking forward to the mess I have to clean up. This 12 minutes. I've been playing with this for 12 minutes and I have a table covered. How does this happen? Paris is always a good idea. So I actually, I'm not very good at this, but... All right, let's give this a whirl. Um, I think, let's see. I think it just gives you more of a rounded end. P-A-R-I. It's weird. I'm not used to this, this type of tip, although I've had it forever. Um, and maybe, I feel like I just want to decorate that, even though that's not the way you're supposed to do it. And look, I just messed it up. Oh, well. You know, it might be kind of cool, actually. Let me cap this up before I have a tragedy here. My laptop's right there. I really don't want a pink inked laptop, although it would be kind of cool. Um, let's just try charging it with a little bit of this color and seeing what happens. Let it kind of flow. I don't know if it, if it will flow because it's this is that thick. Yeah, that's not really flowing. Let's see. A big mug of pens. Well, right, let's try this. So yeah, I thought I would. Oh, there we go. That's that's flowing, flowing, flowing. Kind of dark though. Hopefully, it dries a little bit lighter. Um, all right. Oh, let me go with the, one of these smaller nibs here. Show you contrast to that contrast. Yeah, it'll be a contrast, I'm sure. Okay, let's try a different color. Let's try purple, because why not? I mean, really, what have we got to lose here? Not much, folks. Oh, this reminds me of the stink line tired summer video that I did. <laughs> let's see, is... It's a lot easier, I think, to do the flatter ones um, than the than the rounded ones. I find that as long as I try to keep like the strokes starting from the top, working downwards, and parallel to what I've already done, then it works out a little bit better. I'll be why. Whoops, any more ink. Do 
do with a flourish. If you don't know what you're doing, add a flourish, no one will know. Paris is always a good idea. Gotta love Audrey Hepburn. I like that stencil. I haven't, I, I've had those for a while. Haven't even taken them out of the package. What's wrong with me? Uh, I've had them for a couple weeks. I see what I mean about the parallel lines. I, D, E. It just um, keeps everything kind of neat and orderly, I guess. And I do want to put the attribution because I know who it is. I often don't. Uh, Let's see, I feel like I need a, uh, well, that's all right, A, U, D, watching me spell is so fascinating. I just don't have a knack for, I don't have a knack for spelling or my right from left. Isn't that obvious? Little, little, uh, little secret for you there. I don't know my right from left most of the time. If you ask me right, I'll explore the moment. I have to look down at my hands. <laughs> yeah. There's probably some, like, a psychological, uh, <laughs> thing there. I don't know. Uh, like, maybe I was supposed to be left-handed, and I was trained to be right-handed. I knit left-handed. Well, I knit continental, which is kind of left-handed, I guess. I just fit it in. Yeah, I, I've used to teach knitting and the people that already knew how to knit were like, what are you doing? And it's like, I'm knitting. I feel like I just want to kind of, woo, you know, it's like, what do I got to lose? That's my favorite part of a, of a piece of artwork is like, it's like, well, it's really, I've already kind of messed it up. So what have I got to lose? You know, and then you can do all the curly cues and you know, if you mess it up, so what? I mean, me and lettering, it's not going to get any worse, so I might as well have fun with that. I kind of like that, tell you the truth. You know what? I do. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you're not already, but you like to be, hit that subscribe button, and um, I do appreciate it. If you want some more information about that sale at Rubber, at, uh, it was a Rubber Stamp Chat virtual convention, but if you want information about the Lost Coast Design sale, I will put a link in to the, the stamps that I used, and also the uh, coupon code and information stuff in the video description. If not, um, then don't look there, I guess. I don't know. Gosh, let me zoom in a little bit. I am like, <laughs> I'm even, this is me unscripted. Well, I'm always unscripted, but this is me in a terrible, terrible, <laughs> worse than usual. Oh, I'm just going to hit stop now. Uh, anyways, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.